All right, for all the naysayers, algae, you brush up. This. Well, I want to get a big streak through there so you can see it. You know. Oh, this is high def video. All right, check out. I'll, I'll do a streak right through. All right. Just track through. This is a pool, and we just came from a pool that had twice as much of this with pool. pollen in it. It's an old pool, so it sticks. And this has totally changed my life the last two summers. This pool we used to be in and out of once it was clear in 10 minutes. And now you can see how long it's taking. We even have a paid intern from MIT who wants to learn about pollen. Right? Yeah. <laughs> MIT must be in trouble. Is that what that's saying? I don't know. Yeah, see that line? It's clear as day. Like, oh, yeah. It's not algae. The chlorine's fine. And this generates, when it gets in filters, signs moment, phosphates. And the number one thing algae likes is phosphates. So that clouds the pool. And we've gotten to the point where you don't even have to test for phosphates. If everything's perfect and the pool's cloudy, you have phosphates. I didn't even know that word until last summer. I didn't know there was a test kit. Now I buy cases of test kits. So that's today's pool lesson for YouTube. Dan is actually a bodybuilder and he decided when he heard about the pollen to forget the gym and come out and do this. No, I'm kidding. We're going to open a gym where all you do is pool work exercises. <laughs> Picking up 80 pound wet filters and moving them. I don't know. This should pick this up. See these walls? I never take video. And that's not a regular vac head. That has brushes on it. It's for vinyl pools. If you use a regular vac head, you get nothing. And if you brush up algae, it clouds the pool. If you brush up this stuff, it settles right back down. How long can you tape on YouTube? That's enough.